Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our Ramuvan Raiders in Crusade of Kings 2. We'll just kind of grab all the guys again and go deal with this annoyance. Looks like that army could probably deal with that 450 as well. Come on, autosave. Oh, he's actually going to let me engage him. Major river crossing and everything. I'm surprised we're still alive. We're 76. We've had some very long-living characters in this campaign. We have a courtier who wants to uh, go join the Chosen of Perkinus. Had a few issues with those guys in the past, but... Our vassal has acted dishonorably toward us. He has no money. He is our direct vassal. He is part of the Kingdom of Lithuania, of which I personally control, but I don't intend on controlling for very much longer. So we have all five of these holdings now. I'm gonna... I'm, I'm thinking about making the move. This one has the best technology, but this one has the most subholdings. Why is that important? Um, I don't know. Just because worst case scenario, if things ever go really, really bad, then you want to have as many any, as many direct vassals as possible in your capital holdings, so that you have more like leaders and people to choose from for council positions and stuff more taxes, like, it's just better, it's arguably, not even arguably, it's just, it's in, undoubtedly better to have five potential sub-vassals than three. So, I feel like that just makes it a better capital location. Are we paranoid? No, my wife I might just actually be cheating. And we're still 76 years old leading combat. How dare you just get back onto the boats? That's annoying. Ooh, a brilliant strategist holy warrior. Nice. I believe that that's his score before having his education trait applied. Yes, is it? Yeah, 21. Nice, that's pretty good. Hey, kid, how would you like to become our new marshal? Why don't you take on that ambition to become marshal? And we'll do it. Well, since this army's over here... And this guy has very few troops... Just do a quick little assault raid. Hey, and get 20 women or whatever it was. And it's unfortunately it's time. It's time to, to disable the pop-ups about sieges. As much as I'd like to know how much money we made. Okay, that has increased faction strength because I've depleted some of my personal levy. Because I did raise my personal levy there. Uh, let's detach just the retinue. We'll continue raiding with the retinue, take the rest home and disband so that they can recover. The retinue will finish bleeding off that last little bit of money there. Okay, so we've gained a little bit of money. Um, I mean, we are an emperor. 
How long is it really going to take us to buy back technology? Not a huge amount of time. The thing I'm going to miss the most probably though is the Military Organization 3 and Siege Equipment 3. This thing has uh, Siege Equipment 2, Military Organization 1.4. So, we want to get the, le the, the retinue fully maxed out before we make the move, because you're able to keep the retinue when you go over the limit, but you can't, you know, stuff like that. A scar in the countryside for your prey, you come upon a lone rider. As you strike up conversation, it turns out he also hunts the same great animal. Please join me at my court. It's better hunt alone, or a rival, he must die. <laughs> do we, we want to become cruel? No. Uh, sure, join me at my court, why not? What's the worst that could happen? The Gunnus the Hunter. Who just died of poor health, near nearly instantaneously. Very well. Doing a pretty good job of spreading our Ramuva faith. Our du jour empire has expanded just there. Not du jour, sorry, but like our vassals have expanded it. Nothing nothing else beyond that. We are gaining money. We raise taxes at all. No, nothing right now. Oh yeah, that's right, we had a whole bunch of kids. Kids and things, people who have money. Certainly are a lot of things for us to upgrade. So we need, like, just literal, like, tens upon thousands of gold. Okay, right new cap usage is at 5-4. So we have 650 free, and these take 900. Yeah, so that's gonna be the last one. Okay, well, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna force myself to do it. We're, we're just gonna move our capital. Oh, we're still at war. Gotcha. Auslan der Conquest of Herjadal. You seriously think you've contributed 88%? Maybe you have. Yeah, I haven't really gone up there, have I? Well, it's a defensive war. Can we raise enough boats to actually get across 2,000 people at once from Vassal Levy? And right now we've got 5,000 raised. That's not too too unmanageable. It's probably faster than marching. Of course, we don't have to worry about straits. We could just march up there. Yeah, I think we just march. And even though it's a defensive war, we are getting a... Uh, few people complaining. Do we get our siege leader there? There he is, Gerdautas. Gerdautas. And we have another one named Gerdautas who became an inspiring leader. Uh, he's a brilliant strategist. That's pretty good. It's not the best. I've seen better. We're now 77 years old. I, I am amazed. I don't understand why we're not dead. Apparently someone was trying to ki kidnap me. I, uh, there was a lot of comments a while back about kidnap kidnapping and how, like, it's rather silly that they can even try to kidnap the king. And, like, no one wonders where the king is. <laughs> and I agree completely. Alright, so we can try to plot to revoke the county of Brandenburg. I'm just curious to see, like, uh, which ones is it talking about? So the county of Brandenburg, and this is what? Because you have Brandenburg and Opol, and they're not in the same duchy? Is that is that why I can do that? Sure, let's do that. We'll just accept whatever it 
lets me ask for. Okay, de jour, this belongs to the Duchy of Brandenburg, which doesn't exist. Let's create it. And this duchy belongs... Okay, so you... Belong to my nephew, who you really shouldn't, so I'll make you the Duke of Brandenburg. And now you are over here where you belong. Good. This duchy here doesn't exist. Let's create it. You own both those, and you are my direct vassal, which is fine. You're double, double duke, so let's make you the actual duke duke. Sorry, double county guy, so we'll make you the county, the duke duke. That looks good and clean and nice. Is it just me or is that a different color than that? This is the same duchy, but the color is different. And this duchy over here, I need to get that created too. Keep on working on succession laws. Everyone seems to still want to vote for Karatas, and I can't vote for him. Mm. Yeah, he's not eligible. You're awesome, except you're not my you're not my dynasty, I can't please you. This guy's not bad. Let's see if we can get people to vote for him. So this is the Wendish Empire. Let's see if we can vote for that same guy. And Baratus is actually the heir to this one as well. If I were to die right now, I don't even have support for the Empire. Fine, let's go back to voting for Sergonus, just to guarantee that we don't lose control of the Empire. That would be rather silly. Look at me, I'm contributing. Curiosity never killed anyone. <laughs> Let's chance it. Let's see what happens to the boy. We have a siege leader in charge. He's over here, okay. Works for me. I have so much prestige, but we can't spend it on upgrading things anymore. So it really serves almost no purpose. Aside from... You know, the prestige that your individual characters earn, all it does is give a score at this point. But the prestige that your characters have doesn't affect your dynastic prestige. Dynastic is just accrued on a basis of how many characters owned stuff. Not exactly how much prestige they had. Hmm. Look at that, it's an actual army. So what is this again? What war are we even in right now? I, I'm not even paying attention to it. This is the Ostlander Conquest. So, Jarl of Ostlandet is asking us to help him win a war in his conquest of Herjadal. He's just trying to take a single province, and I'm, like, really committing heavily towards making him win this. So it's just some random guy that I married into. All 
Alright, let's just go kill some armies. Still no war score. Could just be hostile for some other reason. Totally possible. There's a little bit of war score for him. Yes, that is definitely somebody we are hostile to. Hey! Land is becoming Prussian. We are suffering lots of attrition. That's bad. I don't want to be in this war, okay? I want to be done with this war. <laughs> I just wanted to move my capital, okay? Are you actually going to attack me? Stop it. Just let me siege stuff down. The AI is very opportunistic. They really are. And we are 79 years old. Are we ever going to switch characters? Hey, there we go. That's right. Speak of the devil. Alright, so. Windish Empire, still ours. We still own all of this. Uh, we had elective, so we didn't lose control of a lot of land. We are now Emperor Sergonus of the Windish Emperor. Empire, he's, he's not bad. Our wife's pretty crap. She needs to go. We need to appoint a whole new council because everyone died. Looks like we lost our siege leader. That sucks. Courtier that doesn't like me. Courtier that likes me a little bit better. Landed character. Both a landed character. It's not the best, but he's the least likely to kill us. Apparently my capital got moved down to here. We've, we're no longer in that war. Let's move our capital. Now is just the time to do it. What? What is the traditional capital of the Wendish Empire? Apparently this is our capital now. And apparently this character had already moved his capital once. King of Poland. So Poland exists now. Okay, so this land ended up going... Okay, Wendish Empire is still in place. We've got the Kingdom of Lithuania, Kingdom of Poland, and I have the Kingdom of Great Moravia. Ugh. I don't want the Kingdom of Great Moravia. This little itty bitty crap Great Moravia Kingdom sucks. We'll have to stabilize the realm a bit and then try to get a hold of this. Although this is my capital duchy so I should have a plot Possibly to, to take that province. Maybe not. I don't want to look through all these. These are annoying. Now let's start off by just getting rid of our wife. She's really bad. Okay, so, um, I don't even think I inherited the damn, <laughs> I didn't get to keep the retinue, really? Or do I? Oh, it's up there. Okay, it's just, it's up there. I did inherit it, good. I also have this one as well. Which I don't want.
Which means we gotta bring these guys back. And then we'll worry about what to do in the next video. So thanks for watching everyone. See you soon.